next episode. I don't know why this would be the first one that you're watching, but if this is the first one that you're watching, I just got done watching the last episode, and I was fucking terrified that Princess Carolyn was going to get killed in a car accident. And I'm still kind of like... I feel I feel like my, my heart rate is still way higher than it should be right now. But I'm trying to get ahead. I want to. I might finish. I'm I'm debating. I'm debating finishing these next two episodes. I kind of I wanted to just do two so I could have a week long buffer. But I mean, we're gonna see. It, it depends on how. I feel like this episode's gonna end on a note where I'm gonna need to be like, okay, no, nope, I, I, I don't need I don't need to watch this last episode of BoJack right now. I am. So fucking, <laughs> I'm still shaking because I thought it's so fucking stupid. I am literally like still kind of shaking because I thought that Princess Carolyn, a fictional talking pink cat that runs a movie production company, I thought that she was going to get killed in a car accident by a drunk horse. And I am like, oh, fuck. All right. What happened? You know what? I'm not even going to do the recap. You saw what happened. Bojack signed his life away, got a free car out of the deal, found out that Herb getting fired was 100% his fault, even though she bluffed and made it sound like it wasn't. PC got a call to run the studio because the Les Moonves guy <laughs> was showing his dick to everybody. The way that she said it too, she was like, yeah, I know him, which means clearly he did that to her. Um... Diane's moving to Houston with Sonny. Her and Mr. Peanut Butter had a good, like, I wasn't sure if that was going to be what got them, like, back together or if that was just a closure, putting dirt on the grave. All right, we're done. Character actress Martin Mar Margot Martindale got one last fucking hoorah. <laughs> she made Todd's mother have a heart attack I'm sorry I am so good at acting <laughs> and she gets to be in a movie I like how they were like getting ready to put her in jail well you have killed a lot of people but then they're like no 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 Margot Martindale deserves a happy ending so we're gonna have her go you know what fine not guilty go make your movie <sighs> the view from halfway down why am I just now realizing that the J is capitalized in Bojack? I guess I felt like I always thought it was just for the for the logo, but I guess that's actually how you write it. All right. So wait, what happened with him at the at the house? Is he still there? I think it's a hydrangea. She even like that hydrangea. Mabel. Probably not. She doesn't like anything. Grabber, grappling gun. Thanks for having me, Mom. You're the guest of honor. Everyone, Bojack is here. Everybody, get in here. <laughs> for you. Oh, a plan. Dirt for inside. Goody. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. This show. Somebody on Reddit, actually, like yesterday, posted, Hey, does anyone else ever feel like they're just walking through life and they don't know if they want to live anymore? Something along those lines. And they're like, are there any shows that would be good to watch under those circumstances? And someone wrote BoJack and all the comments were like, yo, do not fucking make them watch BoJack in that scenario. <laughs> like, yeah, you'll feel like someone understands you, but no, BoJack will 100% make you more depressed. That's funny, I forgot to mention that in the last episode. I'm only going to hear the song one more time after this. Because somebody wrote, yeah, BoJack's a great show, but I can't imagine watching it a second time. Was that Zach Braff? Is that Zach Braff? Real life friend of Donald Faison. I actually was friends with Donald in real Yeah, we know. Spectacular man. Butler, sorry. Phone call. I'll take it in the kitchen. Top three Jack. greatest bromances of television. <laughs> Is he still at his house, though? Is he, like, blacked out on the fucking couch? Yeah, I kept having this dream where I was having dinner with all the people who were gone, and I thought 
I should do that. So oh, he's. Yeah. We've got a flanker from the left. This is a Hello. fucking dream. That's what it says on my underpants. I thought it was a flashback at first. Never live up to it. Ooh, stop it. Oh, oh, sorry. Forgot where I was for a second. Yes, we catch it. What's this daytime talk show fucking music? The the first time someone asked for my autograph. Really? Oh wow. I didn't even know how to write my name. I just drew it squiggle. What? Thank you, Zach Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Is he dying? Okay, my turn. Mine was also when I signed He's up dying, for isn't he? To enlist. Ah. Are you ready to sing the lollipop song in the big show later? No, um, you know I never make it to the show. I didn't know then that enlisting would lead to my Fuck. two worst ones. When the, when the ink or whatever was dripping at the very beginning, I thought maybe they just had a leak. No, three is way too many. My worst parts were saying goodbye to my mother and seeing a bullet go straight But now it's giving me like a... Oh, at least you're dead. Like a what's it called? I can still hear the loud drips of my IV from when I had cancer. Drip, drip. Oh, what about you, Bojack? What? Best part, worst part. What about you? He's well, dying. I guess my worst part has to be um right before I got here, I think. Uh, oh my god, he's dying. Angela Diaz's house. <clears throat> Does anyone else's water taste like chlorine? Hey, Brad. Can I get some different water over here? Right away, Mr. Horseman. Cracker Jack, do you think your death meant something because it was in the service of a greater cause? Uh, I gave everything. I gave my whole life. You died in a hedonistic bender. I'm not talking about my death. I'm talking about my life. I gave my whole life. Everything that ever happened. Is this in his head and it's a near-death experience, or is he actually dying? Then I lost it all. Ow, seriously, is no one noticing this leak? Fine, we'll get a bucket. The drips are hitting. Then you'll hold the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I got fired that I actually became myself. I was out of the closet. I was free. I was authentically me. Why are we announcing our questions? Yeah, what are these questions? Royalty? Do -do -do -do. Announcing King and Queen Query of the Interrogated Isle. May I ask, how do you do? Does it count then? If you got pleasure, it wasn't selfless. And it's only good if it's selfless. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. But... Better always looking for maximum. No one is accusing you of being a bad person, Sarah. You are! You all are! No one. You're being authentic and charity work and killing Nazis. <laughs> I actually never killed a Nazi. All my kills were friendly fire. Hey, I also never liberated any camps. I'm honestly not sure why. Yeah. Here, Jesus. <laughs> Your husband just pulled up, ma'am. Wait, Dad's here? He's never made it to dinner before. Hey, here's a question. Another question has arrived. Could any of you, you can hold the bucket. played in outer space? No, Princess. To Mars. That means something. Why aren't you holding your bucket up? What's the point of getting a bucket? Sorry, I'm late. Did I miss the show? Sorry, I'm late. Ah, you didn't miss a thing. It's not like we have anywhere to be. Well, here we are. I'll just squeeze in here. You can't take Sarah Lynn's seat. When I left Horseman around, I honestly. Okay, so this has to be in his head. It can't be an actual death experience because that's not his death. And I wanted to see what happened. Wait, you didn't kill yourself because the Knicks were having a good season? Running? Well, that was the only thing that ever made sense to me, so if I couldn't do that, I was nobody. <coughs> this is the worst part? It was my choice. I got to go on my own terms. Not a lot of people can say that. No. That's true. The view from up there. Ah, you would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been from swimming earlier. Oh, you're swimming? <laughs> yeah, I, um... <clears throat> When was I swimming? What I was going to say is that this has a very distinct don't hug me I'm scared. That friend you might need to slow down. I had this one student who was really feel to it. Just going to get over this hump. And what? You helped him do good in a scene for your class? That's the best part of your whole life. Well, are we ready to start the show? This is like his Season so six of Lost. You all go to the show. Zach Graff says part of my reach, even though he can clearly get my plate from another angle. Then I wake up. Oh, okay. Next time then. Pardon my reach. What do you say, huh? Shall we get 
He walked through the door. Tonight's opener needs no introduction, but Sarah Lynn, I'm so sorry for everything that Like I said, I'm sorry I'm not talking a lot, but I'm just protected you. This is my time. I feel like anybody that's watching this gets it. Why I'm not talking a whole lot right now. I feel like the only time that I've heard her sing is Empress Sandra taking over Midnight. Oh, and Sock Opera. One by one, they're all gonna go into the fucking. Dude, this is making me so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> He's dying. Oh my god. I was right, Zach Braff is dead. I forgot that they killed him when they were underground. Someone trying to convince himself of something. Of what? That life has meaning or purpose. Men only think about the past right before their death. As if they were searching frantically for proof that they were alive. That, that if you check the right boxes and do the dance, then you get a little parting gift at the end. A framed certificate that says, congratulations, you got peace. All the time those people spent trying to do good or help people meant nothing. be something. I did none of that shit. And yet here I am, same as them. I know this part is confusing because I'm secretary. And your dad. Also, your dad. <laughs> Speaking as your dad, it's important that you know that I care. I care so much. It's a shame that we could never talk like this in real life. All the good it would have done. At least we got the chance this time before I wake up. <laughs> wake up? Oh, you're not getting it, are you? Getting what? He drowned in his pool. The fucking opening. Into the. I'm not ready. I never got to direct my backdraft remake. Zach Braff's backdraft. I never finished my memoir. I started a Zach which started a whole new drafting. I never got to license Zach Braff. Short Zach Braff was the Braff Bucks. That's so fucking creepy. I need to wake up. I can't be here. Of course. That black void is freaking me the fuck out. How did I get here? How the hell should I know? I broke into my house, but it wasn't my house anymore. I found some pills, and then I went swimming. No, 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 wait, 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 I got out of the pool. Yes, and I called Diane. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a real... She has to go through the door. Look at, dude, this is freaking me the fuck out right now. This was gonna happen to you one of these days. Eyes locked shut, but peek to see the view from halfway down. I'm not done. Hold on. I'm not done. Here than from the ground. It's all okay. It would be. Were you not now halfway down? Thrash to break from gravity. Poof. What now could slow the drop? All I'd give for toes to touch the safety back at top. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I don't, I don't want to. It's okay. But this is it. The deed is done. Silence drowns the sound. Before I leap, I should have seen the view from halfway down. No. I really Jesus should've. fucking Christ. The view from halfway down. Find your peace, my friend. Find it. Somebody wanted to tell somebody who wanted to kill himself to watch this fucking show. Out of your goddamn mind. Nothing you do here matters, pal. Healing and struggling isn't gonna pull your body out of that pool. Do you mind as well? Just sit down, down. I smoked a, an right. awful lot Look, before that first awesome episode. I am so fucking thankful I did not smoke before this episode. We don't get to know. BJ, there is no place. It's just your brain going through what it feels like it has to go through. All you can do right now is sit back and enjoy the show. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, you ready for the headliner? No. Please welcome to the stage. No, please. The star of Horsin' Around, husband to no one, father to none that we know of, <laughs> stand up comedian, actor, tripling alcoholic, a talented charmer, and a stupid piece of shit. Is it terrifying? No, I don't think so. It's the way it is, you know. Everything must come to an end. The drip finally stops. See you on the other side. Oh, Bojack, no. There is no other side. This is it. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. This is easily the least amount I have ever talked during a reaction. He is gonna die. And then I went back in the pool. It's too late. What's done is done. No. There's nothing I can do, Bojack. I'm not real. None of this is. So what do I do now? Bojack, it doesn't matter. Well, if it doesn't matter, can I stay on the phone with you at least? Aww. Stop, please stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I pause it, please? Oh, my God, I'm so glad they kept going then. Sorry. This is another one of those times where I just like I'm I'm sorry that I don't that the the hey ooh, ooh how's it going? I, like once in a while that shit just gets knocked out of me and this is one of those moments for sure. Okay, well, first off, obviously, I'm very happy I heard those fucking beeps at the end. I don't even know where to fucking start with that one. That was hands down one of the, one of the fucking scariest things I've ever seen in my life. Just from someone that doesn't believe in an afterlife and is constantly in a nothing we do, nihilistic, but still try to be happy and good and nice to everybody but just knowing that that fucking doorway is waiting for me at some point <laughs> uh, <laughs> that fucking <laughs> that doorway reminded me a lot of that doorway and there's a reason that that's fucking hanging up there there's a reason here hold on Ugh. there's a reason that this is the most effort i've ever spent painting anything ever in my life 
this has taken this took me more time than anything has ever taken me probably like combined i there were there were a good there was a good like month and a half where every night i would come home and i would look at this thing and it would freak me the fuck out like this is full metal alchemist is my favorite story of all time and this door is just like the coolest fucking door ever but the door from this has a bunch of black shit coming out of it and grabbing people and just like I specifically would look into this thing just to like freak out a little bit and I don't know just to try to make myself feel it sounds stupid but to make myself feel a little bit less nervous about that shit so when I saw that door in here and it just kept like chilling in the background when she first when when sarah lynn first jumped into it that's when i was like oh jesus christ when bojack first got to the party i thought it was a flashback but i guess, I guess it wouldn't have worked because his mom was young the first time you saw the black shit dripping down i was like what the fuck was that didn't even occur to me like, like i saw it i saw it i made a note of what the fuck was that but then she said a bird came in I thought she was going to say there was a leak. The bird knocked something over. The bird knocked over your father's inkwell or some shit like that. I thought that's where that was going. And then the bird thing and I saw everybody else and I just got sidetracked and I forgot about the black dripping shit. And then when he was sitting at the, at the table and that shit just kept getting bigger and bigger, I was like, oh my fucking God, it's death. Fuck. That line, oh, Bojack, there is no other side. This is it. That shit has terrified me since I lost my faith. Ever since I lost my faith, freaking like, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago, because I was die hard fucking Catholic. And that was the hardest part of becoming an atheist was accepting the fact that there's nothing after this. And as much as I can say I've accepted it, I sure as fuck haven't. <laughs> I, every time I make a friggin' reaction where they talk about everybody has to die someday, I always go, Psh, robot body. But I'm always reminded of that line from Community where Jeff says, uh, we all like to, it, it, it's, it's a funny line. But it's him saying, we all think that we're going to be immortal, that we're the exception. Everybody says that they have to die. We all think that we're going to be the exception, but we're as wrong as we are dead. And then he had that whole G.I. Joe episode where it was because he turned 40 and he felt mortality tapping on. I, I, I've been saying my entire life, like legitimately my entire life, I've been saying I can always feel death just kind of, don't forget there's a time limit and I tell that to people and it like kind of weirds them out sometimes but like legitimately like the way that what's his face uh secretary slash Bojack's dad where he said if I could go back in time and the, the thing that I would do is just not care that's if you've watched any of my reactions like you see I'm a pretty like yeah I'm, I'm just me Anybody that knows, like, the, the person that you're seeing is the person that everybody in my life sees. I don't have a certain act that I put on with certain people. I am family members, best friends, girlfriends, roommates, coworkers, regulars, people on YouTube. Like, I'm, I'm so, I don't see the point of anything as, again, depressing as that sounds. I don't see the point of life at all <laughs> i really don't i know that sounds super depressing but again i feel like if you're watching bojack like i feel like we share a bond and bojack has that has that vibe where just nothing matters who cares like <laughs> no one no one gets out of this alive oh, so that episode just hit on some bojack just finds ways to hit on little little itches that a lot of shows steer clear of. If if this if this episode ended, if I I'm actually so happy I didn't get to pause the episode while you heard the flatlining. I was trying to pause it, but it was stuck on do you want to watch the next episode? If I had paused it during the beep and I didn't hear the beep, beep, I wouldn't watch this next episode. I would be like, yo, uh, okay, yeah, I need a week.
I need a week for sure. But it's three. My mom texted me for dinner. I'm probably going to head over there. If not, chicken tomorrow. Chicken tomorrow. I like that. I like the idea of chicken tomorrow because I don't know if I'm going to... I'm going to feel weird seeing my mom after I watch this next episode. I can already tell. She's going to be... <laughs> my mom's going to be like, what's wrong, Joe? Are you okay? I'm just going to be like, yeah. Yeah, I just... Just I saw... I saw a cartoon horse walk through a door of death. That's all. <laughs> She's going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh. Uh, fuck. I was saying how when I watched The Leftovers, I had to call out a sick work. I legit even told my... I didn't even call in sick. I, 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 I fudged that a little bit. When I told my boss that I couldn't come into work, I legitimately told him. I said, I can't be around people right now. I, like... Leftovers, those first two seasons are two of the most depressing seasons of television I have ever watched. Bojack is at least funny with just a lot of realness thrown in. Leftovers was just so fucking depressing that I legitimately called my boss and I said, listen, I never call out of work. Like, please don't hate me for this. I know it was like four hours before my shift too. I never do that. I never, ever, ever make a make somebody work a shift that they weren't supposed to work because i called out freaking like four hours any time before you, you 24 hours when you give me 24 hours i got you i abide by those same rules i got done watching the leftovers and i called in freaking four hours before my shift and i'm like yo i can't come into work tonight i can't be around people i'm in a funk i don't feel like well like i'm just i'm not doing well mentally i didn't tell him it was because of a tv show but he understood he let me freaking have the night off legit i'm gonna to text my mom right now and be like listen i i can't come over right now <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow she's having burgers tonight i'm trying to get back on a healthy kick because i've been putting on too much weight chicken tomorrow and letting me relax and digest these last three episodes of bojack i think that'll be good so let me text her real quick if you're gonna watch me text my mom and tell her i can't come to dinner because of the show that you just watched me watch would you hate me if I chose the chicken. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some more ice cubes for my, I'm happy, this is this is the most, I got this, like I, I was saying in the last one, I got this like a year and a half ago from one of my regulars. This is the most I've drank of this since I got it. Like this is still completely fucking full. I've had like, what, three of these, four of these now? So, I'm gonna watch this last episode of Bojack because I might as well at this point. Um, I'll see you next time around. Thank you guys if I was a little too out of it for this one, but this episode was really... <laughs> this episode really was touching on some fucking like deep shit for me, so... Uh, thank you. I'll see you next week. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you.